Hello everyone, welcome back to another review. Today we are reviewing four things uh, in a video. Yeah, that's crazy. While well, drinking green tea. Cheers. Ah, it's hot. Ah, hot. So we are reviewing these four things right here. Um, I don't have a lot to say about one of them because it's so um, uneventful. So let's just jump with the first one, which is... Mission Impossible 1. Yes, I decided to start watching the Mission Impossible franchise and I was like, okay, we're gonna go from 7 to 6 to 1, then 2, and I'll see after that. <laughs> yeah, I, I am skipping around. I am a professional skipper, okay? Yes. It's not a good movie, gotta be honest, right out of the gate. It's not a good movie. It's not something you are going to enjoy watching. The acting is horrible. The story is really bad. But it has one iconic scene, which is that one where Tom Cruise just goes down like that. And you have like the Mission Impossible theme. I mean, it's a classic, I guess, that scene in particular. But after that, you couldn't care less about the characters because they're all just, I don't know, expendable. Literally. They all die, <laughs> except like two of them. It's weird to me because they use guns but in the latest movies they don't use guns i don't get it and a lot of problems in the last two movies could have been fixed with a freaking shot to the head okay like a f gunshot okay really tom cruise doesn't know how to act in the first movie and i get it like well I actually i don't get it why why tom why don't you know how to act <laughs> I should call the act man. He probably knows how to act better than Tom Cruise in the first Mission Impossible. I mean, it's not... Well, yeah, it's quite horrible and the freaking dialogue, it's... Disgusting, okay? It's actually bad. And it's an old movie, okay? It's like 1996, I think? It's extremely old. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna give Mission Impossible 1 a total score of 5.6. Iconic scene but nothing else. Now let me jump to something that I don't have a lot to say about. Here you are. I'm gonna review... I'm gonna give you a 10 second review of Breaking Bad Season 2. Uh, better than Season 1, still mid-content. I don't like any of the characters. They are, they are all devolving into something even worse than they were before. Um, I hate Skyler, I hate Marie, I hate Walter, I hate Hank. Well, I don't hate them, but I dislike them, okay? Um, the only character I like, I think, is Walter Jr. Because he's like a freaking Chad. And I am disliking Jesse, and I used to like uh, Jesse's girlfriend, and now I hate her, and I'm glad she's dead. Sorry, spoilers. I don't think I have anything else to say. There's one scene where Hank is shooting Tuco. And he seems to have infinite ammo, okay? I counted. I counted the shots. It's like 19 shots out of a 15 round gun. It's like... Yeah, that's again. That, that's how a gun sounds in my head. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's not great. It's quite distracting and quite ridiculous. Uh, what else do I have to say about Season 2? I don't think I have anything else to say about Season 2 because it's really mid okay it's even more mid than season one no it's better than season one uh yeah i, I have in my notes right here i don't know if you can read it everybody's an a-hole literally everybody's an a-hole <laughs> so i'm gonna give breaking bad a total score of 6.5 season two okay it's better okay if you're gonna watch it it gets better i'm gonna jump to another christopher nolan movie I like Christopher Nolan, but I didn't quite enjoy this movie. Dunkirk. Okay? Uh, you have a pretty solid cast, except for Harry Styles, because he doesn't know how to act. I love the guy, okay? I love him so much, but he doesn't know how to act. Luckily, he doesn't have a lot of screen time, so that's great. Uh, <laughs> I didn't quite enjoy it. I mean, you have always a beautiful cinematography, beautiful... Uh, scenes and shots and everything is beautiful the, the special effects are so solid but still I couldn't quite get into it okay I have my notes here let me read them for me the, the movie was quite unremarkable like quite mid and 
low key and interesting until the boat scene. You know what boat scene I mean? It's the scene where the boat sinks and I have to swim away, and it's just like a little bit disjointed, like The Witcher season one. It's, it feels like there is different time periods for every story, and they all coalesce into the end. I still couldn't quite enjoy it. It feels the whole story, in the whole plot, you know, it feels like things happen to the characters, but nothing happens, okay? It's like, oh, stuff happens, but it's not interesting enough to make me care. You know what I mean? Also, it was very difficult to understand who's who, you know? Well, are they French? Are they British? Are they American? Are they what? Okay, I had to look for clues, environmental clues. It was like a puzzle game. And I hate puzzle games. Okay, uh, let me see. The, the flag on the plane, French. Okay, he's French, but he doesn't have a French accent or doesn't speak French. What the freak is that? Okay, are they English? Yeah, but they don't sound English. What do... What... What... Are they German? Are they... What? Oh my god. It was a little bit exasperating because I had the temptation to look it up. Okay, because I couldn't understand it. What else? You have an unlucky character, this guy, that I always seen in irrelevant roles. Uh, this actor, I'm sorry, I don't know your name, and I will learn it after I edit this video. He, he dies, and he nobody feels sad for him. Nobody does nothing for him. Okay, they're all like, oh, you killed him. Oh, well, let's keep going. And I get it, you have to go, but it's like, not even a tear is shed for that character. It was so useless. <laughs> he didn't serve any purpose. <sighs> that pisses me off, like, useless characters... That don't serve a clear purpose actually piss me off. I'm gonna give Dunkirk a total score of 6.8. We're going up slowly, ever so slowly. And now I have to come back to my uh, to the beginning of the video. Okay, this is a full circle. This is like an Ouroboros, like the semper the serpent that eats itself. You know, like I eat my. Mission Impossible 2, okay? It's better than the first one. It's quite enjoyable, actually. I did enjoy it. The acting's still bad, the dialogue still bad, but goddamn is better, okay? It's more enjoyable. There is a lot more action in it. There is a lot more shooting in it. Granted, it feels like it took a lot of inspiration from The Matrix, okay? Dark glasses, dark clothes, uh, a lot of... Uh, Fight scenes that require a lot of movement and, I don't know, uh, backflips and front flips and just acrobatics. A whole scene with motorcycles. They took inspiration, they clearly took inspiration from Matrix. And I love it, okay? I love The Matrix. It was a little bit obvious that they were copying the success of uh, The Matrix. But I don't mind, okay? I, I truly don't mind. I, I don't care. Like, they can do whatever they want. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Uh, I don't have a lot of criticism for this movie. I mean, it's obvious it's a 2000s movie. It has, like, slow motion, bad acting, but it's kind of cringe, okay? It's a lot of- it's a lot of cringe. It's a lot of cringe in one movie. The acting is cringe, the dialogue is cringe. Some of the shots and cinematography are so cringy. And they are extremely durable, okay? The character of Tom Cruise and the antagonist, that I can't remember his name and I don't care, they're extremely durable. They hit their heads on rocks. They are just like, they should be dead after two or three punches. They are like Terminators almost. They are like a freaking unstoppable beast, you know? They're like Doom Guy levels of unstoppable. Or at least it feels like that. <laughs> I love the gimmick with the mask thing. That's kind of timeless for me. Um, but also, uh, I mean, if they use it in a smart way, like in this movie, it's really enjoyable. And you're like, oh, you smart. Oh, you cheeky little son of a f Oh, I see what you did there. Okay, okay, I, I'm gonna give it to you. Uh, so, overall, an enjoyable experience, okay? It's better than the first one. And I think I enjoyed it even more than the last two. I, I don't know. I wouldn't say... I wouldn't go as far as to say that, but almost. I'm gonna give Mission Impossible 2 a total score of 6.3. And it deserves it, okay? It's a good movie. It's an enjoyable experience. And I... I'm not gonna recommend it. Because it's old. And I if I if I had a choice to rewatch it, I wouldn't. But it's decent enough. Like, you can... 
enjoy the re the cringe and the festering wound that is the dialogue. <laughs> we are right now at 232 movies slash shows, okay? Uh, we are approaching the 240 mark and I'm approaching the 300 goal. So yeah. Thank you everybody so much for watching another review and I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy your tea. Memento Frey.